Community activists upset over what they call racial injustice demand change. Today they described a specific plan that includes not just police, but politicians. Fox Wars Alex Boyer at Dallas City Hall. Alex. Well, Clarice, we've seen these marches and rallies before, but this is the first time protesters who are upset with the current state of policing here in the city of Dallas have uh, made specific demands to the Dallas Police Department and to those elected leaders. There are basically four changes that the city leaders can make right now that won't cost them a dime, but protesters say could go a long way towards restoring some goodwill and faith with the community. It's a unified message being spread by members of Mothers Against Police Brutality and the Texas Organizing Project. We want to be recognized as lives that do indeed matter. Yes. About 100 people from a variety of ethnic backgrounds rallied outside City Hall with a message. That fight begins here, right here in the streets. But the change that we're looking for is in there. The group is calling on the mayor and city council to avoid enticements from police unions. To decline these endorsements by the Dallas Police Association and decline financial contributions from the police association. MAPB co-founder John Fullenweider says by doing so it will eliminate any influence the unions may have over elected officials who may be asking questions about a police involved shooting. We need to depoliticize the police. Fullenweider is also calling on DPD to implement three changes to its policy. He wants officers involved in a shooting to remain off duty until the investigation is complete and to undergo a mandatory drug test for all mood altering substances including steroids. Because it goes to their state of mind in a tense situation and there are there's no reason to think that the police police officers are any different than the rest of America in the abuse of uh, anabolic steroids, for instance, or other prescription drugs. And finally, the group wants to change the way DPD handles officers who are involved in shootings. Three years ago, Chief David Brown implemented a new policy giving officers a three-day cooling off period before they provide statements to investigators. But protesters don't think it was the right move. As an officer and employee of the city of Dallas, we think they shouldn't be treated any different than a witness or another uh, homicide suspect. And I contacted the mayor's office to uh, get his perspective as to that one change that they called for. But the uh, mayor's spokesman says he didn't feel that my question uh, was relevant since uh, Mayor Mike Rawlings isn't up for re-election and is coming up at the end of his term limit. I also spoke with the Dallas Police Union president by phone late this afternoon. I laid out the three specific demands made by the uh, protesters today. But despite that, uh, the president said that he had no no comment until he had a chance to review the specifics of those demands himself. Reporting live outside tonight from City Hall, I'm Alex Boyer. Clarice, back to you. Alex, thank you.